morning. Today, uh, let us look at the book of First Peter. Let's read the verse from 1 to 8. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves with the same way of thinking. For whoever had suffered in the flesh had ceased from sin. So as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh, no longer for human patience, but for the will of God. For the time that is past, um, suffices for doing what the Gentiles want to do, living in sensuality, patience, drunkenness, orgies, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry. With respect to this day, uh, this they are surprised when you do not join them in the same flood of debauchery and they uh, malign you, but they will give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is why the gospel was preached even to those who are dead, that though judged in the flesh the way people are, they might live in the spirit, spirit the way God does. Verse 7, The end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. Verse 8, Above all, keep loving one another earnestly since love comes covers a multitude of sins. Mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, <laughs> I wanted to uh, share from verse 7 and 8. Uh, so, uh, Apostle Peter was uh, starting chapter 4 uh, saying that because Christ suffered in the flesh. So we need to think that he, he sees the sin. So we need to live, live not through uh, following the passion of sins, but then we need to uh, have passion for God, uh, for God, the will of God. Okay. So, when is the, uh, when is now? Or what time is now? Okay. Jesus already uh, died for our sins. Okay. So he stopped the sin. So the, to the believers, uh, we need to follow uh, as, uh, uh, as if that uh, we, uh, we are saved. And then uh, we also uh, stop the sin. Okay. And then, yeah, so that verse 7 is saying that the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. So now is the end, uh, the end of the time, right? So we are studying the whole spiritual law. What is it? Creation and sin and salvation and the kingdom of God. So salvation is uh, our individual uh, salvation. Uh, no one can save instead of me. Uh, no one can be saved uh, for the sake of us. Yeah. We ourselves, we need to uh, be saved, right? One by one. 
then after that, what is next? It is we are learning about uh, the kingdom of God. What is it? It is the salvation of the world, salvation of the history. Uh, God wanted to change for uh, for the world, all of the world. So this is the time uh, of the kingdom of God to come. So we need to prepare and we need to work for it. All the believers who are born again, that is what we need to do. So this this message was preached 2,000 years ago. Right? So now is the end of the time. Even Apostle Paul, he said in the book of Romans, let us read the Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13, verse 12. Verse 11. Uh, besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is far gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Okay. So this is uh, uh, almost the day is coming, almost at hand. Okay. You know, at the night time, the most darkest time, it is uh, nearest to the dawn. Right? So when it's most chilly and most dark, then we need to know ah, the dawn is just almost. Yeah. So as the things are full in this world, the, the world is so dark. People are really uh, uh, doing many things. Then uh, the time of uh, God's salvation is at hand. Yeah. So we need to be awakened. We need to wake up. Now is we need to wake up. So there are two uh, words about the time in the Greek, Greek language, uh, Latin language. And uh, English uh, has only one word, time. But then they divided. One is Kairos and another one is Kronos. Right? So Kronos is just uh, the repeated time. Yeah. So in the morning, the sun is going up. And then at, in the evening, the sun is set. Yeah. So every, every day is repeating and repeating. So there is no meaning, no much meaning. But what is, uh, this is Kronos. Then what is Kairos? This is a special time. Special time is something is changing. Something very important thing is happening. So like uh, maybe a baby is born. Yeah. Here is the new life. And this is very special time. Or maybe of uh, marriage, at the time of marriage. Uh, maybe a bride who was grown up, uh, who are ready. Then uh, one day maybe she will have the time of wedding, then this is a special time. This is something changing the life. Yeah. So this is called uh, Kairos. So the apostle uh, Peter and Paul is saying, this is the time, very important time. The end of all things, yeah. we need to wake up. Yeah. We should not sleep uh, anymore. Uh, the end is at hand. So the time of change is now. So we need to be ready and then we need to be uh, prepared and then do the work of God. Uh, also in Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. When Jesus sent the disciples, uh, verse 5. Uh, verse 7, 
Jesus instructed them uh, and proclaim as you go, saying, Kingdom of God, Kingdom of Heaven is at hand. Okay. So Kingdom of Heaven is at hand. That is what we need to proclaim to this world. So heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without pay, give without pay. So this is what we should do. We need to uh, proclaim the kingdom of God. We need to expand this kingdom of God. So this is what Jesus also taught us. Okay? Now is the time uh, for the kingdom of God coming to this world. So what we need to do, we need to first uh, Peter, first Peter chapter 4, uh, verse 7 is saying that the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. And verse, verse 8, above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a uh, multitude of sins. Okay. So, we are called to be the fishers of men, right? Uh, we were meditating. Uh, yeah. Jesus called us to fish many people at this time. So, how are the people in this world? They, they have a lot of sins. Sins are like spiritual disease. There are so many kinds of disease in this world. So we are, we are supposed to be like the doctors who can also heal the people who knows what kind of disease they have. Then we need to yeah, heal the people and change the people. And that is we are called. Maybe recently when I meet someone and then he said uh, he's uh, like a very expert to some heart, um, some things. And he said that I'm like a doctor. I need to do well so that I can fix everything well within my uh, experts. Yeah. So he had that kind of uh, thinking uh, in my work. I must be perfect doing, uh, fixing the problems so that there is no problem. So we are also called to be like doctors uh, or the fishers, fish, fishers of men. So what is we need to um, guide the people to God, and then we need to heal the people. Uh, then how can we, how should we do? Uh, people uh, have uh, different sins, and then they are not really good to obey. They don't try. To they don't want to listen, they don't want to obey, <laughs> and then they don't they don't want to change their lives. And as we are maybe evangelizing and inviting them, also doing Bible studies, uh, we can experience that uh, people will not be as uh, we expect, you know. They promise but then they don't come. Uh, or they come but then they do bad things, or they lie and then uh, many times they don't uh, keep the promise uh, and then their life doesn't change. Actually, it's also us, right? Our life is not easy to be changed. So how can we uh, do uh, the mission and uh, evangelism and also feeding the people of God? And here it, um, the advice, the guidance is verse 8. Above all, keep loving one another honestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. So, love one another honestly. And then since love covers a multitude, multitude of sins, a yeah, multitude of sins are what, we, what the uh, reality a lot of sins, but then love covers. What does it mean? Is it like love uh, just uh, cover up and then uh, saying that this is not a sin? Okay. Is it just hiding the sin? Yeah. It is. It is not right. Yeah. 
even though but then even though we know uh, that this person uh, is a sinner but then still we need to love uh, we know how we are we are all sinners we have sins you cannot say that no i don't have sin i'm righteous i overcame all the sins there is no one who can say like that even apostle paul he said that i'm a wretched man i know how i am sinful that is honest uh, confession he confessed that he's a sinner even though he wanted to be perfect he was not perfect at all he had sin inside of him he was struggling so by himself there is no way he can overcome the sin let us read romans chapter 7 verse 9 I was once alive apart from the law, but when the commandment came, sin came alive and I died. The very commandment that promised life proved, proved, proved to be dead to me. So the law, so law is very good. Yeah. Law is guiding us to the righteous way. But then when there is no law, then I felt that ah, I'm all righteous, I'm good, and I was free. But then when he could realize the law one by one, then the law made him to be more sinful. And then he, it was indicating uh, the sin. It was accusing him as a sinner. You, you, you are a lawbreaker. You are a sinner. Continually, the law was uh, uh, indicating his sin and they're accusing him to be a sinner. So the law is always accusing us. Ah, you do sin. You, this is a sin. So you are a sinner, right? Yeah. So the law is good, but then law is continually uh, saying that uh, you are not perfect. You are a sinner. Yeah. So how can you do? Yeah. That is the our reality. Yeah. So if we are also treating ourselves with the law, just the law, then we will realize we don't really have any way to go. Yeah. We are really under the punishment. Yeah. Then, but then Jesus uh, uh, died for us. Yeah. This is our hope, right? So, also, we, as we are the people who realize this great love and grace, okay, and we are free from the sin by the forgiveness of God, we should not also look at the people with the lawful uh, eyes and then lawful relationship. Ah, because you did it to me, I will also do it as well. As you beat me, I will also beat you. As you say like that, also, I will say it like that to you, uh, eye to eye, uh, arm to arm, tooth to tooth. tooth okay? This is a law relationship. Okay? So, um, then, uh, continue uh, a little bit more. Chapter 7. Okay? Verse 9, um, verse 10, the very commandment that promised life proved to be death to me. Verse 11, for sin, seizing an opportunity uh, through the commandment, deceived me and uh, through it killed me. Okay. So, uh, through the law, it we were killed, we were, we died. Okay. Through the law, we, were, we died. So if we are living only with the law, then our life is very, um, very tiresome. 
very stressed. Yeah. We will continually judge ourselves, and also we will continually judge other people. Yeah. So if we are treating also people we evangelize, then we will see so many sins, and then we will also, if we treat them as they do to us, ah, you did this to me? Okay, you don't need to come. <laughs> if you don't want to come, it's okay. Yeah. Actually, that is not the love, right? But then love, love is like, it, it has more power to change. Right? If we are following the law, then we cannot really uh, change the people. But then how is the love? We can find the love through the mothers. When the children come with dirty clothes, then mother continually wash their clothes, right? Even though they they don't listen to mothers and then go outside and then always yeah, play dirty <laughs> and then they come back many times dirty uh, clothes, but then the mother continually wash them, understanding their children. <laughs> so that is the mother's yeah, love. Yeah. So that is how Jesus treated us. He understood us. We are the sinners. And then he did not ask us. Yeah. But then he went to the cross. Yeah. He died for us because he knew that we are unable people okay. to the people who killed him and he prayed father please forgive them they don't know what they are doing this deep understanding of jesus he knew that they are unable to uh, know what they are doing because they are in the deep sin they are in the dark sin so that they cannot, they cannot know this love. They cannot know God's great grace, how he loves them. That's how Jesus prayed for them. They don't know what they are doing. So uh, today, uh, love covers all the sins. Yeah. So the, uh, the pastor who taught this, uh, he said that, Mm, that is how uh, he is uh, uh, raising the people. Yeah. That's how he is treating the people and then changing the people. Uh, when when the when uh, maybe disciple do the sin and then he changes his mind and then he doesn't come to church. Then how how do you do? How will you do? Yes. And then he said that don't say uh, about, you know, don't point out what you did, uh, what is the sin. Yeah. But then uh, instead, he just, uh, he just uh, call the person and then he just eating with the person <laughs> without saying anything. <laughs> so, or, you know, maybe a very nice environment. Just listen, and then just to give something good, and then try to listen. Then just don't talk uh, something like uh, what you did, and so then if just uh, try to understand, then the person suddenly cry, <laughs> and then <laughs> then something like that. Yeah. If we if he just eating with him and then encourage him. How you are painful. Yeah. Just eat. <laughs> then this person's heart is melted. <laughs> then yeah, he suddenly yeah, he changed. Yeah, he accepts this love. Yeah. So yeah, one time also he went far journey uh, to a country and then also Holy Spirit guided him to meet someone uh, there, but then he's also staying far away. So do I need to go again? Yeah. I came up to here, but then should I go to that city again? But then 
God instructed him to go, so he went there. Then, yeah, maybe he gave, uh, he had that heart, ah, oh, this person is very precious. Yeah. So he did not uh, really say anything, but then he just buy a uh, good meal, and then the person, his heart, even though no one knew what he had in his heart, but then he just met, and then he just said, okay. then he changed his life, then he came back, something like that. So, okay. so how we can uh, heal the people, and then how we can change the person's life, okay. is by the love. Okay. Since love covers a multitude of sins, okay. as we know, as we understand, that there is uh, no one who is righteous, and then even we have sins, uh, uh, different sins. We cannot really judge others, then we cannot just say the uh, law. But then, because also all the people, uh, we understand that we want to do well, right? We want to live full life. This is what God created actually in our heart. We all have a conscience and we all have love in our heart. It's not that one person was born to do evil things only. It's not that when we do bad things and we are happy, no one is happy when they are doing sins. In their deepest heart, we know that we know we are not very happy, we are not very peaceful when we do sins. So as we know that, and that as we are saved from that simple life, because of God's deep love toward us, God deep, God's deep mercy on us, then we also uh, can try to love others. We can wash them, we can wash their feet, we, we can wash their clothes. As they come back with uh, also dirty clothes, then we can wash their clothes. If we, if that person understands what is the will of God, then it is when we can also show their love. Okay? But if they don't know, then it's, it's also uh, necessary to teach them. But then uh, if they know, then it's difficult for them to continue sinning. Okay? So we can open the way okay, for them to come back. So, when the people who knows, who understand the will of God, become dry, and then their heart become somehow um, like turned away, then there is reason. Also, there is pain in the heart. Then um, we need to accept, we need to embrace the kind of heart also, even the sins. We can embrace, we can pray for them. So as we embrace this kind of people and the sins, then the person can change. So ah, you didn't listen to the word of God, you don't know. Okay, if you want, then do it. But this kind of uh, saying cannot really change the person because the person knows then we can give them the room to also experience the love once again, and then to come back. So as we receive the love, as we also give love, that is how we feel the happiness, right? That is us, how we are created. So uh, when the people uh, are not really doing well, and then their heart become uh, very harsh and dry, then let us try to uh, love more, uh, so that through our love, then we can cover a multitude of sins. Uh, we can wash them again. Uh, so, um, so let us pray together. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time and thank you for your word. Father God, uh, this is the time uh, we need to wake up knowing this time, uh, important time where as Jesus opened the new way of salvation for all the people can come back to you. Uh, Jesus showed the greatest love and then this is the time of salvation. This is the time we can receive the grace. Lord, we want to be wake, wake up and then we want to proclaim this good news to the people in this world. And Lord, we want to have the deep love also for the sinners. As we are also simple and uh, we are accepted, uh, then we also want to show this love, love of God, love of Jesus, forgiveness of Jesus. And we want to embrace the people uh, so that uh, they can also receive this grace through, through our lives. Lord, please give us a big heart and the heart of shepherd uh, who is going uh, out to find the lost sheep and also change the life. Lord, please continually help us and guide us with your Holy Spirit and spirit of love and then spirit of wisdom uh, so that we can save many people in this world uh, and show the love to them and guide them. We thank you for this time, and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.